The native functions in AppScript make automation possible. I'm going to apply a dynamic formula here and it's pulling in an average salary and an average bonus. If I alter the data and put in another column, this is dynamic, so it will skip a column and put in an average salary and average bonus. And I'll show you how to do this in AppScript. But first, for basics, we get the active spreadsheet and we get the sheet by name, and that is called SS and sheet in here. So I'm just going to get the name. These are both formulas on the spreadsheet and the sheet. And you can see the name of the sheet and the name of the spreadsheet there. So SS is the entire spreadsheet and there's loads of formulas on that in AppScript on the spreadsheet as a whole itself. But mostly what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at formulas on the sheet. And that's going to be what most of this video is going to be about. And you can see there's a lot of formulas there in the sheet. And we're just going to go over the really useful and basic ones today. So var new sheet equals sheet dot copy to and then we're copying this to a spreadsheet. So we're taking the sheet object, we're copying a sheet and we're copying that to the spreadsheet. And then for the new sheet, which is now in the spreadsheet, we're going to put set name and we're going to set the name of that equal copied sheet. And this is something you should always do when working with app script is do your changes in a copied sheet rather than the original sheet. So I've got my data there and I've got my copied sheet. And what I'm going to do on that sheet is I want to get the last row and the last column. And I do that by sheet dot get last row. And this will tell me where my last row is in this spreadsheet. And last column is nearly exactly the same sheet dot get last column. And knowing where the last row and the last column is allows me to do dynamic changes to the spreadsheet. So you can see it's 25 for rows and four for columns. And in here, I've got 25 for. So I'm going to set a new data set in here and I'm going to insert this after the last row. And so I'm just having an array as my new data here. I'm doing a sheet dot get range and I'm using the last row in here. So I'm going to do last row plus one, which is the range I want to start this at. It's last row plus one and the first column. And what I'm going to put in is new data dot length. So this is the length of the arrays themselves. So that's the number of rows, one, two. And then to get the number of columns, I'm going to say new data zero which will allow us into one of these and that's the amount of columns in it and I'm going to say that plus length as well and I'm going to set the values equals to the new data and that's really useful for where you want to put new data in or copy data sets together is you know how to get the last row and you know how to size up your data and you can see those two new rows went in underneath. So what I want to do now is I want to insert columns and rows. So I'm going to insert insert column before. So just going to click this before. So this will insert a column before a column. So I'm going to insert a column before column one. I'm going to run this. And now you can see the data set has shifted one column. There's a new column in there. I can also do this with rows. So instead of insert column before, I'm going to insert a row before. And I'm going to use my dynamic formulas above. So I'm going to say last row. And I'm going to insert one row before the last row. And you can either insert a single row or you can insert a number of rows. And I'm just going to show you how to do that with delete rows here. So if I delete rows and the same works with insert, I need to get first where I want to start doing it and how many I want to do. So I'm going last row minus one and I'm going to delete two rows. So I'm going to run this and bring you back to the sheet. And now you can see that these 27 and 28 have both been deleted. Now I want to do something a bit more complicated here and bring everything together. So I'm getting the active sheet here and then I'm setting a formula equals to average. And the first formula I'm going to set is C2 to C. So that'll average everything in our C column. And you just put that in quotes and finish that off with the semicolon. And I'm going to insert a formula two, which will get our average bonus. I'm going to set my last call here because I want to get it because that that's what I want to do. I want to insert this across from the last column. So sheet dot last column. And then I want to insert a header onto my averages. So var head equals sheet dot get range. And I'm going to use one, which is I want to insert in the first row. Then I want to get the last call plus two. And that means it's dynamic. If there's another column put in, it will shift it. And then I want to put that as one row and two columns. And I'm going to set this header equals some strings. So head dot set values. 
and then I'm going to put in an array inside an array in here. And just these are my two headers. So the first header is average salary and the second header is going to be average bonus in here. Because this is a header, I also want to style it. So I can just say head dot set font color. And then in the font color, I can just put the color in here. You can put a hex code or the color itself. I'm just going to put white in here to make it easier. And then head dot set background. And I'm going to put blue in as the background color. Last thing I want to do is I want to set the values to those formulas. So sheet dot get range. And this is where I'm going to drop in the formulas. So I'm going to put row two last column plus two. So this goes to row two under my headers. And I'm going to say set formula and then formula one that I put in up above the average. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second column. I'm going to set last call plus three and that's equal to formula two. So just showing you what I'm doing here, I'm getting averages of these two entire columns here, the salaries, the bonus starting at two. And then I'm going to get the last column, which is here. And then I'm going to add a header two columns across. So that's row one, last call plus two. And I'm going to put that in for two columns in one row. So one row and two columns. I'm going to set the values, average salary, average bonus, set the font color, set the background. And below both of those, I'm going to set the formula and I'm going to set the formula too. So when I run this, this will result in our average salary and average bonus. And I can also run this from the menu in my custom tools. And I've run that and same thing. In the next video, I'm going to dig deeper into the formulas and the formatting. Hope you found this useful. Follow for more.